Hello friends. Um, so as I promised, here's another video of me checking in. Short videos, you know, just not looking polished or anything and being okay with it. <laughs> Today I came to election day for uh, recalling Gavin Newsom, or not recalling him. And I came to drop my ballot off at the local ballot box at this park. Um, Cause I neglected to do it up until today, but I got it in. So, you know, hoping that it gets counted. Anyway, so I wanted to check in because as I was walking up here, I just noticed, I'm also blind by the way, cause I had my glasses on, but I didn't want to have them off for the video. So I'm just kind of like, <laughs> but as I was walking up here, I was, I was like thinking about just the beauty I have walking up here and coming to this park and being able to just sit at a table, make a little video. And it's just astounding because I've literally lived here. <laughs> I've lived here for like 10 years now. Well, two of them were like away at college, but 10 years, that's like almost half my life. And I really, I feel like I can count the number of times I've come to this park in like with like less than a hundred times easily. And I think that's so sad because it's so pretty. They've been making renovations, you know, and it was at times like, oh my God, like, you know, this is like my park, how dare they renovate it? But it looks nice now. And I mean, part of it is also kind of like very much gentrification is coming in because this is like, I call it the hood light. It's Crenshaw, Baldwin Village. And they're just kind of like slowly creeping in. Um, so it makes sense, you know, they're kind of like making it pretty and like whatever. But um, still, even through that, it still felt like home. Like it's never felt like a place where I couldn't be. I think that's very special because just me sitting here, like being comfortable enough to like, you know, just sit here and like talk to my phone and make a video. Like, yes, part of it is, you know, can be the, the surrounding area, but I don't think it's ever been unsafe, you know? Like, since I moved here, at least. Um, which, again, like, you know, what does that even mean? But I think the, the obstacle has always just been me in my mind. Just being, like, comfortable enough to come out here, just to walk up here, you know, being this open space. And, and I feel like I personally do that just a lot. <laughs> like, I just kind of get in my head i put my own limits you know and i'm like oh like it's too much work to do this or it's too much effort to do that i'll stick to what i know and that's you know normal it's human it's just how i function like i i thrive in the spaces where i feel safest but i also neglect the power of my own expansion and what that means and what that implicates into my own life like i forget the power that i have when I expand and every time I've expanded it has been fruitful and it has been beautiful and there's been growth maybe I failed a couple times but at least I tried and I think even through those times that I tried I've expanded my horizons by being comfortable with like failing you know and so now I'm like I need to come to this park more often and just like work you know like it's today's Tuesday it's one of my like super free days. Usually have like therapy, but um, therapy's kind of been like scheduling wise, it's been like kind of a different. So I've just had Tuesdays like free. And so it's kind of like my weekend because even Mondays I kind of have stuff to do. Usually like I have work and then I usually go out to like and network and, and support shows, drag shows. And so like Tuesday just kind of becomes like my weekend, my breather. And like I literally am just home. I'm like watching a show or like you know, working on stuff that I have to do for the week. And like today I have literally nothing. I'm helping my sister with some sewing things, which is great because sewing is just something I let go of like a couple years back. And I really like it. And it's like, it's, uh, I hate talking and thinking about this because it's like so sad when I really think about it. Like, why am I not doing something that really brings me joy? You know, something that really stimulates my mind. Like, why am I not? It's literally right there. I have the sewing machine. I have projects that I want to do. I could do like little things even like that I can do that I know that I want to do, but I'm just like not doing it. And I'm not making space and time for it. And so it's like, yes, it's sad and it's whatever, but you know, I just don't think about these things. So I think it's worth it for us to like keep reminding ourselves of those things that bring us joy. Cause I like write it down somewhere, you know, like have a reference, be like, 
things that I can literally do right now that are like free and easy to do that will bring me joy. Like, I think we need to invest in, you know, a little freaking book or something that we can just keep and like write those things down in. So I think that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get home. Anyway, that's, I guess, all I wanted to kind of like say and address. It's just really nice sitting here. I'm also like a little stoned. So everything's just like, I felt like a freaking surrealist painting right now. So I'm loving this. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, thank you, first of all. Um, leave in the comments below. Let me know what is one thing that you want to expand on? Or what is one thing that you're afraid of expanding on? What's one thing that gives you like fear to like explore? And tell me that. You know, what's one thing you're scared to explore? And then tell me three things that could come out of it. Let me let me let me leave my example and do my own. So let's see. I I am afraid to explore my own neighborhood. <laughs> I'm afraid to you know step out of my comfort zone at my house. And three things that could happen if I do that. I could get a lot de-stressed. <laughs> I think from just not being in the same space and being in this beautiful space. Less stress, more time to focus on my work, and like less distractions or like you know less home distractions because we're in closed space you know so it's like easy to get distracted focused workspace and see one more thing exercise i can get exercise from walking up this hill you know activate my cardiovascular system a little bit and you know get some benefits like that so that's three things <laughs>